Today, I'm making a rudder. And my boat had two motors on it before. I'm gonna replace one of the motors with a rudder and then keep the other motor. Or I might change it for another motor. Anyway, there's gonna be one motor, one rudder. This is one of the motor mounts. And it goes on the back of the boat in a convenient, nice place, right at the back of one of the pontoons. And this is six centimeters or 15, no, six inches or 15 centimeters from the water ish, you know, obviously the water changes. Um, and I figure this is where the, this is where the, the motor pivoted. And I figure I can pivot a rudder here. And I did already start making a rudder that was going to work differently. However, this is going to be better. And I've got a 316 stainless steel pipe here, which is smooth, very smooth, so smooth and shiny. And uh, I'm going to use that as my rudder, maybe flatten out this end. That'll go into the rudder. Let's see, six inches down or 15 centimeters. It'll get into the water. But anyway, first I want to just mount it in this piece here, which is way too sloppy. So I found a couple PVC scraps that fit quite nicely on this pipe. They're a they're a little bit loose, but they're pretty good. They do not fit in here though. So I think my first task is to lathe these down until they fit snuggly into here. One on the bottom, one on the top. Well, this is the bottom, that's the top. Uh, I'm gonna lathe this right here. Hey, when do you guys wanna pass me the wire? Looks pretty good. Uh, oh, it is pretty good. Dinosaur! I hit this on. This came out nice. You don't have boots here? Do you have shoes? No. Oh, you have nothing? Oh, that is pretty good. Wow, man, that even slides that way again. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's going to last a really long time. All right, now figure out how to make a rudder out of this stick. How do I make a rudder out of this stick? I have got this thing, which was the beginning of a hydrofoil experiment that I just never got anywhere with because I, I don't know, I just got on other things. And it's been sitting around for years, just taking up space. I think I'm going to turn this section into a rudder. Maybe cut it off there, or maybe I need a little longer. Okay, this is upside, well, okay, I can turn the camera upside down. Okay, now that's the way it's gonna go. And my steel pipe will come over here, and that's where the water line will be, so that would all be underwater if I cut this kind of right at the edge there. That's pretty good rudder size right there and that's that's what would be in the water right now there's going to be more weight in the boat so yeah i think that's actually pretty good i can just cut it right about there yeah oh, it's not perfect but i think that's pretty good Maybe if I cut a couple grooves in here and on the other side and cut a slice down the middle of this, I can kind of fit it right on there and then flatten out these. All right, let's do it. All right, I got to cut down there with my angle grinder. Now I want to flatten this end. Maybe I can start squishy vice if my vice is strong enough. Okay. 
Well, it looks like it's doing the job. That's not a bad start. Hmm. Hammer. I think hammer next. I want that to gradually go up. Yeah. Did those right? Should be able to get this on there. Hey, don't scream for a minute. Oh, that is on there tight. That sucker is not coming off. I think I'll put two rivets down at the bottom there, stainless steel, and that should be it. This thing is not moving. I just want some rivets to pull those pieces in. I want my rivets to be low profile so as to not mess up the water flow. So I took the little stick out of it, cut it shorter, and I'm just mashing it on. Like standard rivet style. It should be nice and flat-ish. Pretty flat. Good stuff. Yeah. It's on there real good. Nice. Ooh, nice stuff right there. Oh, that's great. All right, now the top end. All I need up here, something to go on this so it doesn't fall through. And then some kind of stick for the thing to move it. All right, let's start with the thing there. Basically the same as one of these. All right. Oh, I guess I could put two screws in there just to make sure this thing doesn't move. Put 
three since I'm putting tiny little screws. pretty well. Oh, come on, fit. Oh, get in there. Almost fit. Oh, I guess that's locked in there pretty good. I actually meant this to go up this way, but I drove it the wrong way. So it goes down a little, whatever, it's fine. Just make sure it still clears the stuff it needs to clear. Really? 